and welcome back this is the paracord weaver and today i'm going to do a video uh, for wes he needed some information on how to make a fishtail attached to a split ring and you could attach any any item and basically what we're doing is we're finishing it off like this so that it's nice and clean and uh, it uses about one foot per inch depending on how tight you do it. Um, the other thing is, is you can make this very flexible or by just taking the leads at the bottom here and running them straight up. Take this lead, put a fit on the end and run it right up the back side. You'll be able to make this stiff. See, it doesn't flex near as much as this one okay and all I did to make that stiffer was to run the leads straight up the back and then you could cut and singe this up here but it gives this end a nice clean finish and then Wes you can uh, put your heat shrink and your uh, velcro straps over the top of that okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this right here and what we need is a split ring and what I do just because it sometimes it irritates me is I take a little bit of tape and electrical tape is fine it's relatively inexpensive and I just put a t piece of tape over the split on the ring you can see the split there and the reason I do that is while I'm working on this thing sometimes the cord will want to hang up on that split in the ring and uh, it just irritates me when I do it so I just want to put a little piece of tape on it to keep the paracord from getting in there and getting hooked and then uh, causing me to get frustrated so I do that and then we take our cord and we just line up the ends and then we'll measure out however much um, however long you want this again we use about one foot per inch and we're gonna take this these ends and we're gonna go down from the top through the center of the ring and the reason we do that is I want the cords on the back side away from me when I start this okay make sure that your cord is not twisted so that these two cords run parallel and they don't get all crossed up like this we want it straight and uh, so then we just bend it over and we'll start with this one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this cord we'll take this cord and go over and we're gonna go under the other cord so we go over under just like that we'll take the the right cord now and again we're gonna go over the cord that's right next to it we're gonna go down and underneath on the other side here okay and then we'll just kind of snug this up and we'll just pull it snug Sometimes it's hard to hold it and show you. So it looks like this now. And again, we go over, under, over, under. And then this one goes over and under. And it's going to be, you can see that there, go over under and then we'll just take that and we'll just pull it snug just like that and then we'll take our cord and we'll just pull it down okay and this will start taking shape just as soon as we get a few more going here so I'm just going to do a couple real quick Okay. 
and then once we get a few on here then we'll work it and get it straightened up so you can see it kind of a little bit messy but once we take and pull the cord snug and then just push push the cords together and then pull out and you can take the slack out just like that and again pull the cord down so that you make it nice and snug and we just continue on okay so again we take the cord on the left we're gonna go over this loop that's on the left go over the top and we're going to come underneath of this cord take this cord this end here and on the right side of the loop we're going to go over just like that and then we're going to come underneath the left loop okay so then it looks like this and then we continue that down all the way till we get to the end and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we push this cord up as far as we can and if you want you can put a fid inside this little loop right there and then pull that and slide these loops right here slide these loops up tight and keep running this down until it's uh, pretty snug on there and then what we'll do is we'll take this we'll take these where they come through together like this the cord on the right we'll take it and we'll put a fit on the end and we'll run it all the way up till it comes out the top up here and that will make it look like this that will make this a little stiffer and then you can cut and singe this or you could tie a uh, a diamond knot or a lanyard knot or something to finish it off and make that uh, singe mark go away so it's the paracord weaver we just wanted to do a quick little video to help Wes out uh, he needed needed to know how to attach this fishtail to uh, a ring and have a finished end like this. So it's the Paracord Weaver. We hope it was informative and we'll see you next time.